The first project that I was given when I started working here at JUMP was the Baby I.O. leg. The Baby I.O. is a skills trainer used to practice intraosseous infusion, which is an emergency procedure that they do to flush the body with fluids and medication. They actually insert the fluids and medication through your bone instead of your vein. The reason they would use this procedure is that sometimes in an emergency situation, it can be very difficult to find a vein, which is why it's often used in babies because their veins are already so small and difficult to find. The foot that's on the trainer was actually modeled from an MRI using some of the programs that we have here in the lab. So I was able to make a mold and then use silicone to pour the foot. The bone that's used in the foot is actually PEX tubing. The reason it was chosen is because it has the right feel when you stab into it, it really pops into place. And the skins that go over the leg are just made with silicone, so they're reusable. One of the methods that has been used to train for IOs in the past has been using chicken bones because they're cheap and readily available and they kind of have the right feel, but the trainer that I've been able to develop is also pretty cheap and probably more realistic and it definitely has the right feel to it. They've actually been using the trainer here in the skills lab a couple times and they've been able to do about 20 sticks per set of materials, so that shows that it's very reusable. Another project that I've helped work on here at JUMP is the Winston trainer, which is a cricothyrotomy trainer. Sometimes in an emergency situation, the throat will be blocked up at the top and they're not able to push a tube into your throat to establish an airway. A cricothyrotomy is an emergency procedure used to establish an airway in a patient. So what they do is they make a small incision between the thyroid cartilage and their cricoid cartilage. Then they insert a tube so that they can establish an airway. The Winston trainer is a 3D printed head and neck with a hole cut out in the throat. So you're able to put a pig trachea in that spot and overlay a piece of silicone skin over the top so that they can practice finding the anatomical landmarks so that they make sure they're making the incision in the right spot. It seems like this procedure would be very nerve-wracking, so I'm sure it's very helpful to practice ahead of time. 